front of you, you will see the hip test off um, 3D printer, and it's a build your own printer. Today um, we've got 16 school teachers from 16 schools across Northern Ireland making their own 3D printers. So we had 78 schools actually applied and had a big short lesson process and these are the 16 schools that actually get to make the printers. So they have to build their printer from scratch and the purpose of why we're doing that is so that the teachers then actually learn how a 3D printer works. It means then also that if the 3D printer breaks in the classroom, they know how to fix it. When it, all the teachers opened the machine, there was this kind of like grasp of, oh no, I don't really want to touch this because I don't want to break it. But what I've been kind of saying to them is, don't worry, if you break it, you can take it apart and you can put it together again. We want the teachers to use the printer within the classroom. So we're looking for them to actually create their own project and then feed back to us about their project and what they've actually been doing. I'm head of science in my school, biology's my thing. I mean, I, I never thought about building a 3D heart and being able to dissect it. I mean, that's what I'm going to use. If somebody can give me a pre-designed model and I can print it out, then I'll print 20 of them and use them for a class. Some teachers find it a bit daunting, but I've always enjoyed doing it myself, you know, so. Um, and now that I've got the support of my, my son, <laughs> they're into computers and that type of stuff themselves, so it's great then, you know, I can use their expertise as well. I think the potential that this offers the children in school it, right across the curriculum where there has to be teamwork, they have to work together, they have to be creative, just the potential that it offers in education. Plus it's also giving the children the skills for tomorrow when they go out into that workplace. When new technologies are invented, at least they'll have the life skills there to cope with it and not be daunted by it. We're doing a drones project, so we're learning to fly drones but we want to map the area and map the school and then do a 3D printout of the school. I cannot get the blades for the quadcopters that I've got. This will make the blades. So I'm hoping that uh, it'll solve a few problems, but also give us, again, the hands-on experience and seeing things, mapping things, things that children will be doing in the future. Today they can take the printers home and they can finish them off or they can finish them off next week. It's up to them. So it'll be interesting to see, you know, um, how far along they get on their own with them. After our first session here at the Nerve Centre, we got our Hepestos 2 printer back to the school and started to try and build it from scratch basically using the booklet, taking it step by step. Then when we tried to turn it on, it came up with a fault. So we brought it here today just to get it fixed. Pupils are over the moon excited about it uh, and have far more ideas than I think me and myself and Alan would have to do with it. I uh, can't wait to get using it. I spent the weekend, Saturday night, Sunday building the 3D printer. I must admit there was a great sense of achievement and pride. I was talking to my primary seven class and they were coming up with ideas as to how we could use it next year within the curriculum and they're talking about doing scale size of um, solar systems. Today we've been brought in to be shown the key bits of software necessary to uh, download already existing files that we can print out. It'll open our school up to a whole wealth of new learning opportunities. Obviously we're coming towards the end of the semester, so hopefully in the new semester in September they'll really embed the 3D printing within their teaching. Then they'll feed back their project idea and we'll do like a showcase event where they can actually show some of, some of their projects and, and what they've actually got printed.